ingenuity really opened the door for aerial exploration on Mars. It's just been this plucky little helicopter that just defied everybody's expectations. In this video, disaster strikes the Ingenuity helicopter as a crash landing completely tears off its blades. Meanwhile, Perseverance tries to process the grief of losing its friend with a bright object following it and an arm injury threatening the entire mission. It's all 988 or the 988th day of the mission and communication with NASA has been re-established after Mars went behind the Sun and what's called a solar conjunction. Perseverance has been imaging the ground, observing dust movement and taking this short sequence of images during the conjunction. Ingenuity has been doing the same thing back on Earth. Groundbreaking research LED by UCLA and the University of Oslo confirms through radar imaging that the Jezero crater is an ancient Martian lake a discovery that significantly advanced. This is our understanding of ancient Mars. Between May and December of 2000, 22 Perseverance drove from the crater floor toward the delta. During this time, the rover performed radar scans, which have been analyzed and indicate distinct sediment, deposition, and erosion periods. This AI interpolated video created partly by UCLA shows some of these drives. Perseverance looks around from its conjunction parking spot. NASA plans to eventually send the rover out of the crater to explore parts of Mars that no rover has ever seen. But first Perseverance will get closer to the ancient river channel, which we can see has carved its way through the crater rim Meanwhile, Ingenuity takes off for flight number 67 and captures two stunning images. This image shows the floor of the ancient river channel with the banks of the river clearly visible. Flight 67 takes Ingenuity squarely into the Naretva Valley River Channel. Meanwhile, Perseverance is traversed back to a region known as Narlu Bay close to the channel. The rover cannot enter the channel directly, as the deep sand dunes pose a hazard. However, the view from here is excellent. The terrain here is hilly and has a nice mixture of dunes and rocks. There's a mixture of older bedrock and more recent, smaller stones, which could have been transported here by water in the past. Perseverance spots some exciting rocks in the distance, sitting atop a small ridge. The rover uses its supercam to get a better look. Some of these look like the flow of running water, could have carved them, and to their location on the bank of an ancient river. It does make sense maybe one day. We will see fossilized remains in one of these supercam images. After celebrating 1,000 souls on Mars, the NASA team is pushing Ingenuity's limits. Ingenuity is ordered to fly at a record speed of 10 meters per second, or just over 20 to miles per hour. The flight lasts around two minutes and goes down the channel and back again. Interestingly, NASA engineers deliberately program a nudge into the flight to see how the helicopter reacts when destabilized at a high speed. Ingenuity passes the test and takes lots of color images. This image in particular is incredible. We are looking upstream at the Naretva Valley River channel. The banks of the river are clearly visible and the crater rim can be seen on the left in the background. Meanwhile, Perseverance uses its gaseous dust removal tool on a nearby rock after blowing away the dust, a purple-colored coating is revealed. Just beneath the surface this has been seen before. And we're still determining what it is. But it only occurs on the surface of rocks. Not within them. What looks like Halloween crystals are also present. We found a lot of these in this area. On Sol 1007 Ingenuity takes off for Flight 69. 
It's a replica of the previous flight, with another artificial nudge from NASA. Although destabilized the helicopter passes the test, lands in the exact same spot it took off from, reaching its record speed. The color images are almost identical to the previous ones, giving us a good look at the surface of Naretva Valles and another great shot looking upriver. After landing Ingenuity takes an image of the ground. You can see the foothole where the helicopter was positioned previously. This shows just how well the landing software is holding up, allowing the helicopter to land very precisely. Meanwhile, Perseverance is exploring the carbonate-rich terrain. At first this rock looks like a series of steps but on closer inspection however, it's just another fractured piece of bedrock. The rover gets a closer look. Once again the rock is very knobbly. This is common in this area. Ingenuity takes off again for flight number 70. An easy going flight to reposition the helicopter further upriver with a maximum speed of 3 meters per second. Ingenuity takes another stunning color image looking directly up the Naretva Valley's river channel. Meanwhile, Perseverance comes across something incredible. It's a piece of multi-layered debris from the sky crane explosion. We've covered this in other episodes, but there's something very unique about this particular piece. This is likely the same piece of debris we've spotted twice, and it appears to be following the rover. The size and shape of this piece seem to be very similar. This map shows the locations where we have found this piece of debris. The debris is moving northwest, indicating the wind is moving in this direction. Perseverance uses its gaseous dust removal tool on a nearby rock. The rover uses its Watson camera to get a better look. We can see the strange purple coating present again. However, there's a problem. Another one of Perseverance's cameras isn't working correctly. The Sherlock camera, which is similar to Watson, has its dust cover stuck. Sherlock also contains the rover's laser, which disables its ability to zap rocks. Unless the team at NASA can open, that does cover. While the engineers look into the problem, Ingenuity takes off for Flight 71. NASA has ordered the helicopter to fly further upriver. However, Ingenuity loses contact with Perseverance upon takeoff. The helicopter carries on and should fly without being connected to the rover. However, midway through the flight, Ingenuity performs an emergency landing. Because there was no contact with the rover, we can't see the flight images, therefore don't know what happened. Could this be related to the NASA team, pushing the boundaries on previous flights? After re-establishing contact with Perseverance, Ingenuity sends back some images of it, safely on the ground in this image. You can see the large imprint in the sand left by Ingenuity's foot and a spray of dust consistent with a hard landing. The team at NASA isn't sure why the emergency landing occurred, but they schedule another up and down flight to check the helicopter systems. Meanwhile, Perseverance is analyzing its Sherlock malfunction. In this image, we can see the dust cover in its closed position. Also the high level of dust accumulation around. The instrument should be noted. Could this be the cause of the malfunction? While NASA investigates Perseverance wakes up early to record the passing of the sun. This is what one day on Mars looks like. We interpolated a portion of the sky using these 13 images to create a smoother video of how the light changes over a Martian soul. The rover takes more images of the protective dust cap. 
there isn't any apparent damage or major dust accumulation on the outside. The team at NASA asks Perseverance to take images of Watson. The Watson camera has an identical dust cap, which is fully operational. There don't seem to be any apparent differences on the outside, but could Martian dust have gotten into the motor? That powers the dust cap of Sherlock. Perseverance tries several methods to open the cover, such as heating it using more power, rocking it back and forth, and using the rover's percussive drill mode in mid-air. Eventually, these efforts combine to move the cover significantly. It's all 1035, and Ingenuity is ready to perform a quick pop-up flight to check its systems after the emergency landing. Unfortunately, Ingenuity loses contact with Perseverance after reaching its planned altitude. The team at NASA is eager to know how the flight went. Two souls later communication with the helicopter is partly re-established and NASA orders Ingenuity to take some images of its current location for now. It is determined that the helicopter is sitting upright and alive. Meanwhile, Perseverance is still having problems with its dust cap. In this image, we can see that the cover is partially open. When the rover was built, NASA ensured that if one instrument failed, there were more to do the job. Luckily, we can still get spectroscopy data from other instruments. However, the laser is still out of operation. Although the problem persists, the rover captures stunning footage of a moon transit. On Mars, this is Deimos, the smaller of the two Martian moons. The video is sped up by a factor of nine. Perseverance looks toward the crater rim and spots a lighter patch of rock in the distance. The team at NASA estimates that these lighter layers could be up to four billion years old. No rover has ever studied Martian rock this old. The plan for Perseverance is to eventually drive up the crater wall and study these rocks up close. But first the rover must explore Naretva Valles and check that Ingenuity is in good health. NASA eagerly awaits more news from the helicopter and on Sol 1040 their worst fears are confirmed. This image shows the shadow of a broken blade. We can also see small pieces of debris and a large imprint in the sand where its foot has slipped. This image shows the imprint in the sand in better lighting. Ingenuity quickly takes more pictures to see if there's any more damage the result is this time lapse. And shockingly another blade is also damaged. NASA is worried about the little helicopter and asked to see if Ingenuity can move its rotor. At all three wiggle tests are conducted and the results are shocking. The helicopter has barely survived the crash and is severely paralyzed. Perseverance begins to worry and moves to get a visual on the helicopter. Perseverance uses SuperCam to get a better view. We can see the debris from the broken blade, lying next to Ingenuity. NASA orders Ingenuity to carefully perform a full rotation in a final attempt to gather information. During this spin test, we confirm that a blade is completely missing. So what happened to Ingenuity? This flight was supposed to be a simple vertical flight to check all its systems. NASA now knows some of what happened. Ingenuity performed well on takeoff and reached the target altitude. However, on its descent, Ingenuity drifted off course and communication with Perseverance dropped out at a height of three feet. NASA isn't sure whether this communication dropout caused the helicopter to lose its balance or whether the loss of balance caused the communication blackout. 
Ingenuity knew it was off course and tried to rectify this, pitching itself to get back on course. At this point the blades made contact with the dune, on which it now rests Ingenuity's blades move very fast, and any contact with anything will shred them. At some point the impact ripped one off completely. It's an unfortunate turn of events. Ingenuity simply wanted to return to where it should have been, and died trying. In this image from Perseverance to Supercam, we can see the blade that was torn off, and another set of foot imprints in the sand. This suggests that Ingenuity landed on just two feet, while its blades impacted the ground. The Ingenuity helicopter's primary mission on Mars has concluded after 72 flights and 17 kilometers. Ingenuity will go down in history as the first craft to perform controlled and powered flight on another planet. Its final resting place has been named Vale Nori Hills. The NASA team members responsible for Ingenuity put together this short segment. Ingenuity really opened the door for aerial exploration on Mars. It's just been this plucky little helicopter that just defied everybody's expectations. I'm incredibly proud and grateful for all that Ingenuity has been able to give us. What would you say to Ingenuity directly one last time? Ugh, you're gonna make me cry, you know. What would I say to Ingenuity? It's really hard to say goodbye to you. I would say thank you. Ingenuity, thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for leading the charge in our adventure on Mars, and we will never forget you. Rest well. Thank you, Ingenuity. Thank you, Ingenuity. Thanks, Ingenuity. Thanks, Ingenuity. However, this is not the end of Ingenuity's mission. The helicopter can't move, but it can act as a stationary data collector. Ingenuity will wake up daily, record the temperature, and take a picture of the ground. We won't receive this data in the usual way. Perseverance will eventually have to drive away to continue with its mission. Since Ingenuity talks to Earth via the rover, we must go to Mars and physically retrieve the helicopter's hard drive. When we do the team at NASA, estimates that the hard drive could contain over 20 years of daily temperature measurements and pictures. One final gift from Ingenuity to all of humanity. Perseverance will now travel alone. The disabling of Ingenuity emphasizes the issues of the rovers. Stuck dust cover even more. Perseverance rigorously shakes its arm, trying to fix the issue. NASA also orders the rover to rotate its arm to see if it can fix the problem. In this sequence, we can see that the cap has moved slightly, so the movement seems to be working. On SALT 1056, Perseverance stops to watch a Martian eclipse. It's a moment to pause and reflect on the journey so far. The loss of our great scout ingenuity and what the future may hold for this mission. This is Phobos the larger of